welcome to the Nexus. Today we are doing Disney Dolls House issue 120. So we have reached the end. So let's have a look at what we've got to do. Right, so today we're making Cinderella's bed, um, finishing off the bits to complete the front and doing obviously our tiles on the front. Um, this gap here is where the bit for the extension would have been and obviously in the UK we're not getting the extension but there are other ways that you can get it. Okay so I'm going to hand over to Kev to start building. Okay, so we'll start the build in just a minute. We're going to be building quite a lot. It's just the finishing touches, really, but there is quite a lot to do, uh, especially on the bed for building Cinderella. Now, I have gone and bought some more double-sided tape, but they want you to use the double-sided tape that we got back in issue 34, I do believe. Let me just double-check that. Uh, yes, 38, sorry. So when we got the load of the... Um, double-sided tape in issue 38 there was quite a, a big roll hopefully you've still got it otherwise you can go and pick up some double-sided tape I picked up this one from here in the UK in the works and it cost a pound and there's quite a lot on there uh, I use this for the tiling as well we do need some super glue and we're going to make the bed and then we're going to do the tiling and then everything else will go over there are some magnets in here as well to magnet up the front and um, we are just going through the last bits of the house also as well the magazine here is literally just instructions there is literally nothing else in it uh, we are a little bit sad that it is ending uh, but also happy as well um, we're also going to do a second thank you video as well so make sure you stick around for that um, so let's start building Cinderella's bed okay so here's all the bits um, effectively for the bed and it is massive it's quite big I, I didn't expect it to be this big um, I thought it would be the same sort of size as Peter Pan's bed it isn't uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our double-sided tape here and we're going to go around the top part like that all the way round like that so we're doubling uh, this up pull it off that can go like that so we double that side so top and bottom mattress is big enough now we're going to open this and we're going to pull out this section just here and we are going to put this down like that in the center uh, we're going to take both the double-sided tape off and then we're just going to push it up and stick it on. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so just uh, let you know, so you have these little sort of tabs either end, so they go down as well. And then this goes up. And just pat it down. Definitely double it. Um, I, obviously, um, I think there's... Um, you might think just doing it once you, you, I would definitely double it um, it sticks um, a whole lot better okay so next we're going to grab our bed post sections we're going to grab our glue and we are going to just glue on these little tabs just here
so it doesn't like fire <laughs> just like I just did uh, and we're going to push those two bits on there then we're going to just glue on the tops of these and we're going to do the same here like so like that then we're going to double sided tape along these stretches just here so I have just measured that with well I haven't actually measured it <laughs> so it is a little bit long but the good thing about the double side tape is that you can just tear it like so long just like that uh, then we're just going to take this off It's a bit tricky. There we go. And then what we're going to do is this is the head of the bed, and we're just going to place this down, making sure. these bits here do not get stuck down and it's a real tight fit but look at that there we go it's starting to come together now there we go I just want to make sure that, that is in place there and uh, yeah so that's that so now what we've got to do is we're going to be making um, this section here so we don't need that one what we need is that one there so let's put all these away a second like that we have some thread as well which is really cool because we're going to be sort of threading this up okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of double-sided tape down here so just where it sort of I would say pleats there either end like that. cutting off a little bit of the excess now I've got these these cut a little bit like that. and then what we're going to do uh, take them off and it says to use a pair of tweezers so let me just grab the tweezers any old tweezers will do Do this side Just trying to peel the uh, sticky stuff off there we go 
like that. And then we're just going to, well it says here to clump it like that. Ah, right, okay. So we need to actually do both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and do okay, that. Okay, so we have done that both sides. And now it says to just do that. a bit it sort of just does that it's, it's weird um so i'm gonna do dead uh, i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side to see how well it comes out it's i'm following the instructions here let's see how it comes okay, out so that's how it's supposed to look a uh, bit like um well a bit like a sweet wrapper sort of thing we're next going to take our thread, which is here, and we're going to go around the same bit. We're going to thread it around and tie it off. Okay, so with Kirsty's help, which we've got the thread here, and we're going to use a bit more of that in a minute. Uh, but that's how we've done that. I don't, I don't know how well that's coming out on screen, but we've gone round it, what would you say, about 10 times? Yeah, about that. Um, just to make sure it's it's fully on. now. Uh, around this section here, around this bit here, we are going to put some double-sided tape. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I, I don't know how well that's coming out. Hang on, let me turn off that. Can you see that? So we put double-sided tape along here. This is the back. Um, and you can see the back because it's got the two holes for the bedpost to go in. And this is the front here. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to take the double sided tape off just here. Along the front. Like so. And then we're going to place this. Just like that. So the threads either side and then just give it a little push down. So that looks something like that. Now what we've got to do is our curtain. Okay, so along the top here, we are going to put double-sided tape like that. And then we're just basically going to turn it over so it's like that. So... so and then all we're going to do is just literally fold it like that i'm just going to take that so so that's like that now then we're going to take the rest of this and we're going to try to see where we're going here yep yeah, okay we're just going to stick this where the double-sided tape is like that 
all the way around. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so there is the uh, the back section here. So that's what that looks like. Now we we've gone round the holes at the back. Uh, and we're going to stick it super glue onto here. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so that is like that. Then what Kirsty's going to do because I'm not good at the threading is. We're gonna just cut a little hole and we're gonna really, put it. Can't we just leave that? I think it looks nicer with it hanging down. Do you like that hanging down? I do, yeah. Okay, well, in the book it says to put a little hole and then uh, use the thread that we've got um, so to, to hold round to hold round the post like that. But Kirsty's just said to leave it, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you like that? Yeah. I think it looks nicer like that. Okay, so the next, the next bit to round it off is we've got this part just here. And this is going to go round like that. Yeah, make the join at the back though. I'll make the join at the back. <laughs> um, and once again, we're using double-sided tape for that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, and just like that. Now the join is at the back, it's just here, I've overlapped it. And uh, just the finishing touch, which is the cover here. And that just goes over like that, apparently. And uh, that is Cinderella's bed. All done. You're going to take that now and put it in the uh, room? Yeah. All ready for put that like that so it okay. fits on the bed better. Well, you're going to take that and put it in the bed now, so off that goes. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, we're going to put the tiles. Let me grab that. So we need to put these bits because that is for use in the build a little bit later. Uh, we're going to grab the front of the house, which is here, and we're going to put those tiles. All along here now in the book it does show you how they all go on uh, we've done this a few times now uh, so there's no need to so as you can see we're just going to follow the instructions here and put the tiles on the house using double-sided tape I'm gonna go ahead and do that now okay so we've done the uh, front there being modeled by Kirsty <laughs> uh, so we've done the front there so that's all done uh, like that, just like it's a, well, we were told it was supposed to be done. So these just sort of slide in. That comes across. Uh, it looks really nice. We've also, Kirst, can you flip it round? Yeah. That means putting down the magazine. And we've gone ahead and put in the magnets side there, one there, and one there. So the front is now done. So let's go over to the house. Okay. So we've only got these bits here. So we've got this. This part here is going to go in there so it covers up like that then we've got the smaller strip which is going to sit just in the center there uh, then we're going to glue on these two bits so you do get a longer and a shorter one as you can see just here so the longer one goes on these two parts and the shorter one goes on the end part here we've also gone ahead and glued that in and stuck the other two magnets into the side so i'm just going to go off and finish those bits okay so here we come the last reveal now we have done that as you can see they're all glued up and the white bits are there so our last reveal and there we go and we've put an extra teddy because we had one for some reason um but we've got the slippers there we've got this we've once again we've stuck stuff down with uh, sticky dots the bits like that the shoe pillar um, and there it is and that's our last room and we're going to pan out and show you the whole house there we obviously can't show you the Peter Pan one because we have to take the turret off but yeah we are going to do one final video to discuss the whole build but this is the build finish now. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put the whole fr front of the house on. So you can see what it looks like all together. So Kirst, the house is done. Yes. There's a few little extra touches we're going to do. Yeah. And 
nearer Christmas, we are going to do a oh, Christmas a uh, Christmas video on this house, and we're going to Christmas it up. Even though we didn't get the extension, we're still going to make it all Christmassy. But it is all done. Now we have got a few characters on the top; they've got to come off. Yeah. And uh, Winnie the Pooh Day is not watching the TV today. And uh, there's the front door. And there's the kitchen. Yep. I love the lights are on in the little rooms. But yeah, it's been a whole year. Two years, actually. Yeah. Was it for two years it's now? Been yeah. Just over two just years. Just over two years, and we absolutely loved the house. So that is it. I'm finished, and the doll house all done. Yes. Um, so all we have to do is say thank you so, so much for following the channel for two years. Yeah. Uh, I hope you still subscribe to the channel because we still do lots more. We have heard rumours of them doing another doll's house sort of thing. So yeah. we may end up doing that. Depends. Depends on what it is and what comes out. But we have heard rumours there is a sort of another doll house coming out. Um, but yeah, you're happy with it? Yeah. We are going to do one more video and we're going to go through everything that we've done, little improvements, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything else wrong with the house and right with the house. Yeah. Um, but so I hope you stick around for that. But all us, from us here at the Nexus, all we've got to say is thank you so much. One build complete. Yes. And um, thousands more to go. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a lot keep more to go. watching. <laughs> yep. And you're, you're now building the Nissan Skyline. We're doing yep. the Batmobile, Batmobile 66 yep. to, together. I've got loads of other stuff still to do on the channel. Uh, but from all of us here, all we've got to do is say thank you very much. And we will see you, as always, at the next video. See you later. Thank Bye. you.